have just arrived here at the ferry port um, by Lake Baikal. So we are taking a passenger ferry across to Oklan Island. As you can see, there are a lot of people here. Uh, a lot of foot passengers, a lot of people with suitcases. Um, you can see our white van on the left there. So the van is coming with us. We've left our bags on board um, and we're going on as foot passengers. And then at the other side, we can get back on to the van and he's gonna bring us to our guest house. We finally made it to our homestay here on Auckland Island. A little bit of a mishap at first. It seemed like our homestay had lost our booking. Um, and then we actually thought we were in the wrong homestay. So to call our hostel back in Irkutsk to confirm that we were in the correct place. Um, all worked out well in the end though. So we've got a cute little twin room in a homestay. Um, and we're only minutes walking from the lakeside. So we're just walking down there now to finally check out the famous Lake Baikal. We have just got down to the lakeside. Pretty excited to see it up close. We haven't seen it up close yet. Um, it looks really beautiful, quite majestic. The weather has gotten a little bit better, so the water is looking really calm. Oh, it looks really pretty, guys. I know that my dad would absolutely kill me if I came all the way to Lake Baikal in Siberia and did not go swimming. Uh, it's probably the hottest day we've had so far. But I still think this water is going to be really cold as I can see snow on that mountain over there. Oh my god, am I going to do this? It's going to be freezing. Woo! Oh my god, it's freezing! Oh! <laughs> it's too cold! Oh, it's like as cold as Iceland! What? Oh God, I'm gonna die. Oh my God. No, 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 that's too cold. I'm getting out. How incredible is this view? This is just a five minute walk from our guest house. So we've just walked along the beach here behind us. We've checked out the banya, the saunas on the beach. But the beach is gorgeous. People are really enjoying the calm waters and the lake is so clear and so clean. It is just gorgeous here. So quiet, so peaceful. very lazy day here on Alcon Island. So we are finishing our lazy day with some beers. Um, so, Novosibir, no, from Novosibir. Cheers. We have made it back to the lake just in time for sunset and what a sunset it is. It is our second day here in beautiful Alcon Island. We're just heading into Nikita's homestay. They have two little cafes in here and we're gonna get some delicious breakfast. Breakfast time! <laughs> so we've ordered pancakes with cheese and ham. Some coffee. legit have no idea what is happening right now. We have no idea what's going we, on. We paid for a tour. We don't even know what tour we're on because we were told we couldn't go on any tour. We kind of just threw money at the guy and we're like, please, please help us. So uh, they just put us in one of those old kind of military vans, drove for literally three minutes and then told us to get out of the van. So now we're just following the rest of the people from our bus. Oh, they know where we're going. No, <laughs> They're just walking down to the beach.
Russian, which was uh, predictable. Uh, our tour guide does actually speak a little bit of English, so he's just pointed out an island that looks like a crocodile called Crocodile Island, um, an island that is full of birds, which is called Seagull Island. And he said up north there is an island called Seal Island, and there's a lot of seals all over the rocks. Now today he said we have a 10% chance of seeing them, and I think a 10% chance of seeing a uh, UFO. <laughs> So we didn't think it would be that cold on the boat, but actually it's a bit windy and it's a bit wavy and they've handed out blankets. So we're kind of like we're having a Siberian slumber party on a boat. Sleepover! Our boat has just left us off on a rock at the side of this cute little bay you can see here behind me. Uh, so our boat is now sailing back to the town where we came from. It actually took four hours on the boat to get here, which is crazy. And now hopefully there's gonna be some buses waiting for us, some old sort of Soviet style buses. And we're gonna to tour around to three or four different places before heading back to where we started by land. Look at these cute horses! Hello! Hi horsey! Hello! So we left the boat and now we're in a uh, Siberian bus. <laughs> it is very, very, very bouncy. That ride was crazy. So we've arrived here at Heart Rock. This is our first stop on our little bus tour. Um, telling you, these, these buses are pretty hilarious. The road is absolutely mental. Uh, so we're here at Heart Rock, which is a rock we actually saw from the boat. It looks like a heart in the rock. So apparently it's called Love Rock. So you see there's a lot of tourists here, a lot of different tour buses. So we have a 15 minute stop to go down and take some pictures. I have to say this has been an absolutely incredible day. Um, it's gone way beyond my expectations of how good it was going to be. So the boat trip, which was like four hours, was incredible. Um, it was really relaxing, it was quite hot, quite sunny. Uh, they fed us lunch on the boat um, and we've had two stops so far and we have I think two more stops to go before we head back to the town where we're staying. If you guys are coming here to Alcon Island, highly recommend coming and doing this day trip to the very northern Cape. It is great crack, it is a lot of fun.
sadly our time here on beautiful Alcon Island has come to an end. So we are back here at the ferry port and we are just waiting for our turn to drive our bus onto the ferry and go across. There's a very long line of traffic, a lot of cars waiting. Uh, so you could be waiting up to an hour or two normally to get across on the ferry. So we're heading back to Irkutsk, getting back on the train and our journey is continuing to Vladivostok.